Hello everyone, back to you today's first video. We're going to talk about the East Championship 30 day uh, forecast model for um, the UK and for Europe for today's uh, first video. Uh, it's going to take us well into June. We're going to look at it on a uh, week by week basis for the next four weeks. Um, temperature and precipitation anomalies. We can't show you heights or pressure with this, uh, but you can get a rough idea from the temperature and precipitation on is of what the broad sort of pressure, pressure pattern uh, would be. Coming up later on this afternoon, you'll have your uh, regular week to 10 day uh, video update, and that's going to be uh, up on the homepage later on uh, this afternoon. We're at the Hungarian Met Office uh, for this one, so a big thanks to them for uh, supplying the uh, data. So we're starting off with the week one temperature anomaly. It's week uh, 21 for this year, for 2019, uh, week one for our forecast period. So we'll begin over Scandinavia, and we've got uh, warmer than average temperatures forecast for much of Scandinavia, though not Denmark, but uh, much of a Scandinavian peninsula is coming out uh, warmer than average in the week. And we also find that some of these Baltic areas of uh, northeastern Europe also uh, forecast to be uh, warmer than average, and also warmer than average down across uh, parts of uh, Greece, Turkey, through to Cyprus, those sort of areas. The far northwest is also a bit on the mild and average side, not as warm as it is in the far north and southeast. But for the UK and Ireland, we're a little bit milder than average uh, this week. Elsewhere, though, it's quite a cool scene, especially through the central parts of Europe and down into the Mediterranean. So kind of right from Germany down through to Italy, uh, through the central islands of the Mediterranean, the central basin of the Med, temperature anomalies generally on the cooler than average side. Parts of Spain and Portugal are uh, a little bit uh, warmer than average there. So the cool temperatures are through central parts of Europe and then around the edges uh, we find it's a warmer scene this week. As far as precipitation is concerned, uh, we're looking like this. So the far west of Europe is a little bit drier than average. Spain, Portugal, France, Ireland, UK and the Low Countries being forecast to be driving average from the 20th to the 26th of May, week one. Uh, we find further east, though, it's generally a bit wetter than average. So it looks quite wet across Germany, Poland quite uh, wet, over to Ukraine, also quite uh, wet. Going north up to Scandinavia, away from Norway, uh, it's generally above average uh, with precipitation too. Uh, but in the Mediterranean, it's really a three-way split. So much of Spain and Portugal, as we said, is drier than average. But we've got this central basin of the Med, kind of like from the Balearic Islands uh, eastwards towards Italy and then over the Adriatic or around the Adriatic Sea. It's a bit above average uh, with precipitation there. Moving further southeast into Europe, into southeast of Mediterranean, I should say, uh, we find that Greece, Turkey, uh, again, coming out, uh, on the uh, drier than average side. We go through to week two, which is uh, week 22 for uh, this year. We find uh, some quite important changes taking place. This takes us from the 27th of May through to the 2nd of June. Goes cooler than average in this northwestern corner. So Ireland, UK, most of Scandinavia, most of Germany, Belgium, Holland, uh, those areas, Netherlands, those areas are going below average with their uh, temperature anomaly, becoming really quite cool. At the same time, it's getting even hotter across Spain and Portugal. Very hot week coming up there. But otherwise, the Mediterranean looks generally quite cool again. So, again, um, from the Balearic Islands over towards Corsica, Sardinia, over to Italy, generally below average with temperature anomalies there. These eastern parts of uh, Europe are generally close to average, about average with temperature anomalies from the east of Europe. Until we get over towards the Black Sea and then down to Turkey and then up to Russia, then it goes uh, significantly warmer than average once again. Precipitation anomalies for uh, week two, which is again 27th of May to the 2nd of uh, June, looks like that. So quite unsettled for northern parts of Europe. It does look uh, rather above average with precipitation for much of northern UK, much of Ireland. Again, most of Scandinavia above average with uh, rainfall there. Spain, Portugal and France, drier than average, so obviously we've got some high pressure 
going on down here. Must be got a reach from the Azores High into Spain and then into France uh, with low pressure up here, I would have thought. And the jet stream's going through up there uh, as well. So that's the reason it's more unsettled in the north and northwest of Europe, and it's drier and warmer in the southeast. The central and eastern parts of Europe are close to average with precipitation, and then down into the southeastern corner of Europe it does look a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, wetter than average there. Mediterranean-wise, the precipitation, so the west of the Med is generally on the dry side, eastern parts of the Med generally a little bit on the uh, on the wetter side. Moving through to week three, week three, which takes us from the 3rd through to the 9th of June. Temperature anomalies look like this. So still warm and average down across Spain and Portugal and southern parts of France. Eastern parts of Europe are looking warmer than average as well. Otherwise, most places are going close to average. So I think we get into week three and as usual, what we tend to find... Is that the signal just begins to weaken away uh, a little bit? And I think that's what's happening there. So many of these central parts of Europe are close to average with uh, precipitation. And then northern parts of uh, Europe, including the UK and Ivan, again, close to average with the temperature anomaly. So we're rising from being cold and average in week two to being closer to average in uh, week three. But again, it could just be that the signal is weakening that little bit. Precipitation anomalies for week three from the 3rd through to the 9th of June. Still wet and average for northern parts of Scotland and much of Scandinavia. A bit dry and average through the southeastern parts of Europe, kind of like the, uh, the Balkans, those sort of areas, drier than average. Uh, and then, otherwise, it does look close to average, with, really, with precipitation. Again, probably because the signal is weakening. So, Ireland, UK, France, many parts of Germany, low countries, Spain, Portugal, all of those sort of areas in the west of Europe are generally uh, on the uh, average side with precipitation. And over in the east of Europe, we find the same situation. And then finally, we go through to uh, week four, uh, which, of course, is going to be... Let's go through to, there. We go through to week four, which, of course, is week 24 for this year. And, uh, again, we find quite weak signals. So, it looks like we've got a swathe of warmer than average temperature anomalies from France through the central parts of Europe and then over to the east, so towards the Black Sea, basically. So, that area... Looks like it's more or less warmer than average uh, through those centres from France in the west over to the Black Sea in the east. Now, north of that, uh, temperature anomalies are just close to average. So, again, quite weak signals. Some parts of Scandinavia are a bit warmer than average. But it looks a bit um, a bit cooler for the north of Europe, albeit not below average. And then much of the Mediterranean looks close to average uh, with... Uh, with um, Temperature anomalies as well in uh, this week from the 10th through to the 16th of June. Again, quite weak signals. Overall, I would, I would suggest that most parts of Europe, though, are on the warmer than average side here. Precipitation-wise, uh, again, weak signals, as you always find in week four. Uh, we see that uh, some of these central and northern parts of Europe, if anything, are on the drier than average side, as it is in the east of Europe and the Mediterranean. Again, very weak signals, but Mediterranean overall just looks a little bit uh, wetter. Maybe some heavy showers or thunderstorms uh, kicking off there. Northern parts of Europe, again, quite close to average, but possibly just hinting being on the warmer than average side. So uh, we're talking about really weak signals here, but uh, it does look as though we start off relatively cool, quite unsettled for northern and northwestern parts of uh, Europe. And then we possibly revert something just a little bit drier and warmer as we get through to the middle part of June, possibly just seeing an extension from the Azores High building up as we get into the middle of June, possibly bringing proper summer-like conditions to many parts of Europe. And of course, this is a really long way off. It's uh, four weeks away, three weeks, three and four. So uh, unreliable. Before that, though, it looks as though it's the north and west of Europe that are cooler and more unsettled. And it's southern and eastern parts of Europe that are just that little bit uh, drier and warmer, perhaps. 
I'll do it all over again next week, and we'll be back uh, later on this afternoon with your uh, week's 10-day video update, so come back for that then. But uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.